Evening. So I'm going to be going over the Garmin Tactics Echo or 7 Pro as it's called. I have my Garmin Tactics Delta right here to compare it and kind of give different ideas on what's different, how well everything works, is it worth purchasing. So first off, I'm going to start with the exterior and what you get in the box. So whenever I got my uh, Garmin Tactics Delta, this is the standard Sapphire Edition. It came with the standard rubber band. The Garmin Tactics 7 Pro came with this cloth. It's pretty robust. And additional rubber band wrist straps, which are nice. So it's so so far I'm liking the uh, cloth. It's actually not bad once it gets wet. I haven't destroyed it yet. We'll see how that goes. So the front of it kind of changed up a bit. Instead of having our cool bolts on our side right there, we have them on each four corner of the Garmin Tactics Echo. So the sides and sizes. So the size, the Delta is actually larger than the Echo. So this is actually a good bit smaller. It's a little bit lighter. It's kind of nice. The button is not as recessed out. It does have a metal button guard on there. I never had an issue with the any of the polycarbonate uh, components on the Delta. It does have the newer heart rate sensor and pulse oxygen sensor. These straps are interchangeable still. So now, one of the really cool things that I have to say and give to the uh, Echo, it has touchscreen. So navigating your watch is excruciatingly easier. If you don't like touchscreen, guess what? You can turn it off. It's very easy. You can either do it in the main menu right here, or there's a button sequence. I believe it's this. Yep, touchscreen is now off. over up here again so this still has the Garmin pay you still have 32 gigs of space on it for maps and for music and if I hit it oh duh I have touch off uh, initially same settings not a whole lot of difference in the OS If you, this one does have solar, so this is the solar model. This is the Pro of the Echo. So that's really nice. Um, seems to be working quite nicely. I haven't even been outside a whole lot today, but this is a nice little idea of how well it works. You still have your standard menu. sensor this does so the really cool thing about let's say you have an app a lot of the Garmin apps work really well for this so like if I want to use a calculator look at that I can do it that easily which is really nice now there's a difference in speed of connection on both of these uh, the echo can be substantially faster. I did this a couple minutes back, so it should already be somewhat connected to the satellites. We'll see. I'll even get that a head start. And as you see, the Delta is still going. And the last time I did it, the Delta actually took even longer. 
That goes for the maps as well. Makes these excruciatingly quick. If you're worried about the digits, good luck, you can go on the military base yourself. Have fun. I won't be here much longer anyway, have fun. <laughs> uh, so, I still have my ballistics calculator. You can update your maps from here easily. They have a fly mode for those that actually fly airplanes for navigation. There's quite a few additional apps that they added. You still have your standard tactical, jump, all that fun jazz, tidal flow. You have the Connect IQ store, so if you have connected to Wi-Fi, guess what? You can do the same fun stuff you did before. You have your map manager, so you can update your maps directly from there. You still have the cool workout. I'm still trying to do that. Different workouts you can do. You can choose what you want to do. Do a workout. So I'm starting to work out. Cool, right? Or I don't really mess with it on touchscreen in this mode. Go down. Even we'll show you how to do it on the bottom, or you can also just select instead of actually do to run through the workout. Pretty nice, it's nifty. I'm gonna show the other part. There's always the hundreds of different modes you can do on here. The map. That's a big one. That was a huge upgrade. We're on the map now. So we're on the map, right? Not only can I have a nice little map there, but I can move it around. It takes a second to load. This is not a computer. <laughs> At least the fun type of computer. So you can move wherever you need very easily. You can use touch screen to zoom in. The screen quality, from what I can tell, is very similar, if not the same. I'm not doing a spec review. This is straight on what I'm seeing, out the box, how well it's working. I've kind of messed around with this for the past day. Ironically, this is seven throws in of taking out one of my guys. This one's, uh, I took one guy out the other day with it. Uh, it's kind of funny, but yeah, so this one's score on one right now um, another cool feature this does have a light you can turn it on just by double clicking that I can change my light intensity or which light I want selecting that right now I have it set for green this actually gets pretty bright I can change the level I want it at whatever Whatever I have it set at is what the preset is whenever I double click. Which is really nice. I have control. I don't have to worry about things messing up on me. This obviously still has night vision capabilities. It has a kill switch. I actually have the key for that one. Kill switch. Same durability. Same setup as the Delta, just better. Now I did hear some people were having issues with the actual software, where they had some type of software or hardware issue. Uh, my unit does not have that issue luckily. Don't know what that is or if it's just an update type of thing, but I have heard of people, they'll get one out the box and it's like the screen's tweaking out or something. Not sure about that, you can probably look it up yourself. Uh, am I going to recommend this? Sure. If you have the extra money, you're willing to pay, I'll say this. If I had the solar delta, I probably wouldn't have done it. I wanted something solar for where I'm going to be at. I'm going to be limited on power. And it's just the type of mission I'm doing. So, I really wanted something that's going to last a little bit longer. Battery life is better, just across the board. On top of having that solar, it really cuts the keeper camp on that. Really nice. That's pretty much it. Um, so far, the Pulse Oxygen Sensor, Barometer, Altometer, 
all of it's pinpoint accurate just like the Delta last one ready my flight over to this current base I'm at um, it was pinpoint accurate because I asked the little pilots where our uh, altitude was it was very very accurate I'm gonna be doing that as I fly to Iraq that's where I'll be going and I'll get some nice info videos durability test all kinds of fun stuff out there I won't be able to post really will not have signal um, that's pretty much it uh, if you guys have any other questions on this watch or even on the Delta on any updates of that what do I think about it is it still worth it I, s I will say I really do like the echo I did get mine for thousand 200 run about 1200 tax free at the PX so I was able to get one that way without paying taxes which is kind of nice but if you guys have any further questions just leave a comment and I'll get back to you whenever I can it might be a while I can't promise anything on that but I'll do my best as long as I have signal we'll see